So, so uh, you know that there are already two dates for the exam. So what is the procedure for getting there? Okay. Uh, there are a set of steps. So we have a date, let's say the exam date. Let's call it T0, the exam date. Okay. Uh, there is something that happens before, during, and after the date. Uh, before the date, at T0 minus, minus 20 days, we are going to publish two items. We publish the, the text, the assignment of the project, okay, with all the instructions, and also we will publish uh, the, uh, a link, uh, and we'll, I will explain in a moment, uh, on, class, on GitHub Classroom. for creating your repository. Only one example. Okay, so the text of the project will be, when we publish it, will be always at least 20 days in advance, uh, will be an online document like a Google Doc open for commenting. So we are aware that uh, uh, when we write a text, we have something in mind that uh, some maybe explanations or specification may not be clear. There may be some questions, some, something which is not really clear at the first time. So we leave this document open for you to comment uh, for some days, four, five, six days, less than a week. So that once we publish it, uh, try to go there, read it, and comment everything is not clear to you. Okay, so uh, open for commenting, comments from students. And then we have a final version, maybe four, five, six days later. Of course, the final version will not be a totally uh, complete, really different. Uh, implementation. You can start uh, working on your project and you know that after some days we'll give you the, the response or the clarifications about the question that you may have. We found that this, me this mechanism is easier than just meeting in a classroom and discussing because something may be uh, after you start designing the, the, the project uh, you can see some details uh, so it needs some days. But after these few days we fixed the, the, um, um, the, the, the text. Okay, It will be the final version and will be the version that you will be evaluated against. Uh, and how do you develop the project? So we will give you a link uh, to this GitHub Classroom system. We will try this during the last lab. Last week, uh, we are assigning the lab uh, using this mechanism, so they can try it before. <coughs> this classroom is a GitHub Classroom, is a mechanism that eases or manages automates in some way the creation of individual repositories for you. Okay, so I will give you a link which is for each uh, exam date. It's different, each, every exam date you have a link. You go to this link and what you will do in that link should be authenticate with your GitHub account. So they will, it will ask you, who are you in GitHub? What is your GitHub username? You authenticate them. You choose your student identity. So you will find a list of all the students that, that I, lo I loaded in the, into this GitHub classroom. I download them from the portal of Didactica and I'm loading them. So you find all the alphabetical list and say, okay, this is me. You choose your own identity. So that this classroom will make the, the link between your GitHub username, which is any name you can choose, and uh, your name and uh, student ID, so that we can track the people. Um, this only once. So once you did this, 
classroom remembers this association. So you don't need to do it in the next. So if you do that during the last lab, for example, uh, you, for the exam, you don't need to do it anymore. And then you have uh, uh, to accept the assignment. So the link is actually a link to an assignment. Uh, and after identifying you, we we'll say, do you want to accept this assignment? Of course, yes. This is different at every different exam. If you accept, GitHub Classroom, GitHub Classroom will create uh, a private repository with a template project. So I, I will prepare a template project, which is a very simple project with just a server directory, a client directory with the package.json and a readme, basically the structure that we have for an empty project, and you can work with that. So you will have a private repository in GitHub uh, initialized with a skeleton of the project. You must work there, okay? This uh, private repository is visible to you and to me and Juan. It's not a repository in your own account, it's a repository in the exam account, basically. But you have a URL you can enter with your own uh, sorry, I, um, GitHub identity. So, and you do this at the beginning. Will be, it will be an empty project, but that is, that is the project where you have to work with. Then, this will, all of this may happen at the publication of the, of the exam. And then, during the, the, the 20 days, you work on the project. You can, using, uh, using the, the repository, you may organize your commits, your branches, like you want. You're free to use it freely. Commits, uh, branches, merges, as you want, okay? It's your repository. We don't want to look, we, want, we will not look into that, okay? Into what you're doing until the end. Uh, then, some days before, so it would be T0 minus uh, 6 or something like that, or before, better before, you should remember to enroll in the exam. Okay, click on the app or on the portale, remember, because that's crucial, okay? It's separate. And, uh, and then comes T0. Okay, so at, at, my, at midnight before, even. Okay. Midnight before T0. On the eve of T0, you can commit your final project. Okay? So you will do. Um, final push, commit and push of the project as normal in the main branch or master branch. I'm looking both in main or master. So if you have any other branches that you use for development, okay, it's fine, we won't look into them. We only will look at the last commit into the main branch. Additionally, maybe somebody is working main uh, but didn't complete the project, so I want to check only the, the project that were actually completed that you want to submit. Uh, so you should add, uh, it's not a commit, it's a commit. You should add uh, a git, a git tab, a git uh, uh, tag called final. To this branch, okay? 
Uh, in the text of the exercise, we give you the exact instruction how to do that. Okay, you can create or you can create a release on the interface or just git tag final enter git push minus tags enter. It's a stupid operation, but you don't know how many people are tagging with the final with the capital F or all capital final or just sending a, a commit with a commit message equal to final or creating a final branch. There's a lot of uh, variations on that, okay? So it's very easy. You will have the instructions on, the, on your text to try to do the right thing because it's not, not for being you know, uh, uh, nasty to you, but uh, I have a set of scripts that automatically will pull the repositories by looking at the text. So also because I will check that the tag will be within the deadline Okay, five minutes more, five minutes less, don't, don't worry. Um, and so if maybe you have to make, if you had to make extra commits, uh, maybe on the same repository and the day after, I, I'm, I'm sure that they can get uh, or and correct and check the right uh, commit, the right point in time of your project. Okay, so this is important. Um, then on T0, on the day of the exam, what I will do will be, I will download, check, and download all the projects, all the projects that uh, for students that are enrolled and uh, committed a final tag on main. Okay, so I download everything, of course, uh, Sorry, uh, accepted the, the assignment on the on the on the on the, on the right uh, repository. Yes, because there's also some people that came out. Oh, I, I, but I developed in my own repository, not in the one that was assigned by classroom. Hmm? Uh, okay, let's try to make it easy for everybody, especially for the sake of time. We try to be fast in correcting and so on. So everything should, should be easy to follow instruction, right? Um, so I check all that and I will publish the list. Uh, I'm just doing some let's say, formal check whether the project is there and publish the list, the list of uh, uh, valid submissions. Well, where valid doesn't mean anything yet, okay? Just that the project is there and you are enrolled and something like that. And at the same time, or maybe some days before, I can also I will also publish uh, some dates for the discussions. So it will be on T zero and and the next days, some next days. Depending on how many people submitted, I will make, I will publish some slots. These slots will be on uh, slots uh, on Google Calendar. And you choose your own. I don't want to fight about the list of like, can I, can I come before? I publish the slots, you just click there and you will automatically be uh, enlisted for that day, yes? No, 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 no. I, <laughs> if there are more people, there will be more days, uh, more slots, uh, but uh, I will, of course, uh, I cannot put a limit on the number of people. Okay. If everybody comes the first date, uh, then I will be happy for the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not an issue. If you have any other exams or any other maybe holidays or whatever, there, may, there will be several dates so you can choose your own if you have some problem one day you will choose the day before the day after uh, you you will be probably seven or, seven or 60 or 70 or 80 people on the first date and so they, it will not be on the same day we, we cannot finish it in one day so i think it's we can use it for our advantage we split in separate day in different days so you can choose the day that suits you better and uh, we don't die of, uh, of uh, discussions. Uh, usually I tend to do some, maybe half a day of discussions. 
eight days would be too much for me. Eight, sorry, eight hours a day would be too much at the end. I would not understand anything. So usually three or four hours a day it will be me and Juan in parallel. Usually you should plan for something like 20 to 30 minutes each. So we have a slot every 15 minutes. Because we are two in parallel, you will choose a slot. More or less, we try to keep these times. Okay, not exactly to the minute. Maybe you are a bit a bit sooner or a bit later, depending on how it goes. But um, the idea is uh, we have a time slot which is within 15 minutes uh, of the time that you choose, uh, and in 30 minutes you should be done, hmm? and you can choose. So that's I think is very um, e easy, not to to go to find a solution that is good for everybody. Yes. No, it's in present, in the classroom. Yes, yes, yes. And then, so, the, uh, we also tell you the classrooms, of course. So the idea, the, the, the discussion is, let's say, will be nearly 30 minutes. I would say maximum 30 minutes in classroom. We are not uh, allowed to do remote examinations. And uh, uh, what do we do in the discussion? We open and run the project. In the text of the exam, you will have the exactly um, the, the exact instruction that I'm running, that I'm typing for running the project. Actually, there's a script that does that. So I will do npm install on the client and the server and run that. Okay, what we are doing every day. It should work out of the box. Okay, so beware that you have all the dependencies listed into package.json so the answer it works on my computer is not uh, acceptable okay it should work on my computer not on yours okay so one but i will give you the exact same command that i will be using for downloading and testing the project so one very easy thing to do is to go to a friend's computer that doesn't have any uh, any extra package installed and try to download and run this command so you are sure that the project will run okay uh, and then and then check and discuss check the project I'm checking two things the project functionalities so basically we go through all the requirements of the project and see whether they're running correctly and uh, in the project functionality works or doesn't work or how does it work okay so how the implementation choices <coughs> So if you did something in a very strange or complex way, or maybe it's something that may be buggy or you didn't take into account a race condition for a synchronous behavior, or we have a, some APIs that are not well designed, something like that, of course, it would be part of the evaluation. It's not just does it work or not. Does it work and it's well designed. And the other important part is your knowledge of the project. Because of course the project is, is published, you, can, you have 20 times to work, and so I, I must be sure that you, are, you have the full knowledge about the project that you just submitted. I'm not saying that you should, have, you should do that in a closed room for 20 days. You can of course share information with your friends and partners, or, but it's better if you share information and you don't share code, okay? Uh, we will not do some any say code checking or similarity checking unless there are really you know, blatant cases or, or two exceptional similarities so you can collaborate but then the submission is individual so you should be aware of what you did in your pro in your project I we call it here and continue to call it your project so if I'm asking okay what does, it com does this component do or what is the API doing and you start wondering then it's a bad sign for me Maybe the project is perfect, but if you don't know it, it's so it's better to have a project which is maybe not very fancy, but you know it very well because it's yours, uh, rather than the other way around that they want to think to or I don't want to mention, okay? To buy a complete project from outside or something, some nasty things. So this is important. So the project functionality in presentation choices gives you the score. But the knowledge of the project is the threat, is the say the yes or no pass or fail uh, variable. If, I, if we consider that you didn't own, say, the project well enough, uh, the exam is failed. 
even if the project is perfect, of course. Okay, you can imagine that. Uh, so that's uh, so we are not asking uh, theoretical questions about React. We are not asking to do some programming exercise. Nothing. We are just seeing together your project, navigating through through the front end and through the some of the code. We can look at the code, the documentation, something like that. And just you just have to just be in the conversation uh, and help us understand your project. That would be all. And uh, yes. Is it? No. No, the classroom is open. Oh. Yes, everybody can can attend. Yeah. It's not very interesting, but just you can be there, of course. Yes, yes, yes of course. Uh, the exams, uh, by law, they are public. So there's no, not, no nothing private there. So usually we are in a classroom like this. Uh, usually I sit there and uh, Juan sits there. And we call, you, we call you one by one, and the others are in the rest of the classroom that can listen or sleep or whatever they want. Yes? Ah, OK, that's a good question. Uh, you can, in the implementation, uh, why is that? Uh, you work on your project, you can do usually using the technologies of shown in the course. So basically, you should have React, Express, and JavaScript, OK? But uh, if, you, you, if you want, uh, you can use uh, extra libraries. If you, of course, you know, well, know them enough, uh, well enough to, to be able to explain them, OK? So it's possible to use uh, extra libraries, OK? Don't, don't use maybe. Frameworks that the big frameworks that include the React like like Next.js or something like that. No, but you, let's keep with a simple React plus. Uh, but if you have a, I don't know a, a library, I have no idea what will be the exam. But it, maybe if in the exam we have a I don't know a sort a calendar to show, and you find a, a, a React library that gives you a calendar component, you can use it. Yes, yes. So libraries or components as long as you're using them in the correct way. And you know them, yes? Yes, yes. In the case, uh, you should be, do, to be aware that what they're doing and display, not how they're implemented, but how they're using it, yes. OK? Yes? Sorry? Uh, it will be a project like, yes, the complexity will be more or less uh, like the, the lab, uh, maybe a bit more, a bit more complex, with more functionality, let's say. Uh, but we, it will be easy beca easier because we already, you already start with all the knowledge uh, how to design it, okay? So you can have a look, uh, there are the exam for, last year, for the last years, they are all published, so you can have a look at the type of complexity. Okay, by 20 days, nobody complained about the 20 days. So a lot of people are saying, oh, but you can do it in a week. But I'm not saying that. Okay? Okay, so let's see. Let's, next week, 